Okay, everyone, welcome to our wrap up of the poker news of the week. First, very important piece of news. We upgraded from a bed sheet to a curtain. So good job, poker news. Thanks for that budget upgrade. <laughs> All right, now let's get to the real news. First up, the World Poker Tour has some new main event winners. Last year, the World Poker Tour surprised the poker community by announcing they would be doing delayed final tables, a similar concept to the WSOP no longer existent November 9. So at each of their televised events throughout the season, they would play down to six players, and those six players would reconvene at the HyperX Esports Arena at the Luxor in Las Vegas. Well, last week was that week, and we have three new WPT event winners. First up was the final table of the WPT LAPC, LA Poker Classic. The big story coming into that event was Darren Elias and if he could cash for his fifth WPT win. Now, while Darren Elias didn't win that tournament, he did break a record. His third place finish of $473,280 was his 33rd WPT cash. In the end, it was the very popular, much loved mixed game player, David ODB Baker, who won over $1 million, took home a brand new Hublot watch, and of course, one entry into the 15K Baccarat Tournament of Champions to be played at the end of May. To be clear, and this question's actually come up a lot, Baccarat Crystal is a sponsor of the World Poker Tour. Baccarat Crystal is a really, really fancy high-end crystal for like vases and glasses, not Baccarat the D-Gen James Bond table game. So no, the winners of a WPT televised event do not get a free roll into a Baccarat table game tournament. It was amazing poker photographer Joe Giron who captured Frank Stapuchin holding a lucky chicken wing for most of his final table while he was throwing back Coors Lights. My kind of man. Stepuchin won the event and took home $548,825, a Hublot Big Bang Steel watch, a 15K seat into the season ending Baccarat Crystal Tournament of Champions, and most importantly, that chicken wing. The WPT Borgata Winter Open started with 1,415 players last month, but on Wednesday, the final six played down to one winner, and that winner was Vinny Lima. He took home $728,430 as the first place prize, and during the 10-hour final table, the 24-year-old was cheered on by his rowdy rail that included former WSOP main event champ, Scott Blumstein. Even though you now know who won all those tournaments, if you do wanna watch all those WBT episodes, they will be available later this year on FSN. Halfway across the globe, at another WBT event, this time in Barcelona, we have another winner who also won that 15K seat to the Baccarat Tournament of Champions at the end of May. It was Vitalis Zavarotnis, who won the WBT Barcelona main event for 600,000 euro. He beat 1,226 entries to take down that big event. Our last piece of news isn't as congratulatory. There was an armed gunman who demanded money at the Bellagio poker cage, fled to the North Valet, and upon trying to carjack a car, was confronted by four police officers. The suspect was killed in a shootout, and that would actually mark the second robbery at the Bellagio poker cage in the last few years. So remember to stay safe, but also have fun while you're out there playing poker, whether it's just on your couch or at a poker room. We just, we wanna all be safe. So until next week, it's me, Sasha Salinger, giving you all the poker news.